This Friday marks the beginning of the Jewish New Year, Rosh Hashanah, the first of the High Holy Days. It's a holiday full of meaning and rich in tradition. Here to tell us all about it is President and CEO of Jewish Nevada, Stephanie Tuzman. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning, thank you so much for having me. Of course, so tell us about Rosh Hashanah. I know it starts this uh, Friday, but it's not just one day like our new year and why it's such an important Jewish holiday. Yes, Rosh Hashanah is the beginning of the Jewish New Year on the Hebrew calendar. This year marks 5781, and it is it begins Friday evening at sundown and ends Saturday evening at sundown, but it leads into the 10 days of awe or the 10 days of reflection, which end with Yom Kippur, which is just uh, 10, 10, 10 days later. Okay, and Yom Kippur is like the holiest day in the Jewish calendar, uh, and tell us, what you do during Rosh Hashanah ending with Yom Kippur. Yeah, so Rosh Hashanah, we celebrate the new year, and during those 10 days, we seek for repentance and um, introspection. It's a great time for reflection and, and repenting on the previous year so that you get sealed in the book of life. Um, you know, you ask God for forgiveness for all the things you may have done wrong over the last year, mm -hmm. and you hope that uh, that you wish and pray for a, a good new year. Um, and so Yom Kippur is our holiest day. It's the day of atonement. And I really love that because you can start off the new year with a clean slate, if you will. And yeah. we're taking a look uh, at our screen, or we just were, by the way, of, of some of these symbolic foods that we eat. We saw some apples and honey. Tell us about the foods and what they represent. Yeah, we celebrate the new year by uh, by enjoying everything sweet. Uh, so instead of dipping our challah um, in salt, as we usually do, we dip it in honey uh, to reflect a sweet new year. We dip apples in honey, um, lots of sweet, uh, sweet foods to celebrate. I love that so much. And, and then the hollow you have in the round uh, shape. Yes. Yes, signifies the circle of life. Traditionally, we do three long braids or six long braids if you're talented uh, for a challah <laughs> on Shabbat. Um, and for Rosh Hashanah, everything is, is served in the round to signify the circle of life. I love it. And, and then if you're not talented, you can just say maybe next year. <laughs> I just roll it out into one long <laughs> strand and do a little twist. So. It's going to taste great either way. Uh, tell us more about Jewish Nevada and, and the services that you provide for the community. Thank you. Jewish Nevada is the um, fundraising organization of the Jewish community. We represent about 70,000 Jews, which are in our community. We raise dollars to support those in need and the organizations and agencies that make our community possible. Um, and you can visit actually jewishnevada.org backslash high holidays 5781 uh, to see what is going on in our community this year for services. Many people can't gather together in person. And so I know several synagogues in the community are offering virtual services or limited capacity. So we help to connect people to our community, build vibrancy and continuity uh, in Jewish life. Yeah, and such a huge Jewish population here. So thank you guys for doing that virtually for those who can't attend in person. And thank you yeah. for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. All right.